friends, it's Mrs. Torich again. I'm still at my house and you're still at your houses. Um, today's a nice day. Hopefully the sun stays out for us for a few days. Uh, I thought we'd read a book today about friends since we're all missing our friends so very much at school. And it's called Peanut Butter and Cupcake. And our author, who is also our illustrator, is Terry Border. So he did the pictures and he wrote the story. Peanut Butter and Cupcake. our title page, Peanut Butter and Cupcake, written by Terry Border. Here's Peanut Butter with the soccer ball. And then sometimes authors write a dedication when they're writing a book, and on the first page they say who they wrote this for. So this author, Terry Border, wrote it for his best friend, Judy. And if you take a close look at the picture, you can see Peanut Butter in a sailboat. Peanut Butter got a ball for his birthday. He was kind of bad at kicking it with his feet, but he was kind of good at balancing it on his head. Still, it wasn't much fun playing with a ball all by himself. Want to play with me, he asked his mom. They had just moved to town, and Peanut Butter didn't have any friends yet. I think you should go outside and find someone to be your new friend, she answered. Peanut Butter liked that idea very much, so off he went. It wasn't long before he saw someone. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly, and we'll go together like peanut butter and hamburger. I'm sorry, said Hamburger, but I'm busy walking the dogs. Thanks for asking, though. We'll get Hamburger's dogs. You're welcome, said Peanut Butter. Maybe next time, and he kept walking. Then he saw Cupcake playing by herself. He thought she looked sweet and might make a good friend. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and Cupcake. I'm building a sprinkle castle, said Cupcake. You can stay and watch, but don't hit my castle with your ball or I'll be mad. Peanut Butter didn't want anyone to get mad that's okay, Peanut Butter said, and he kept walking. Then he saw Egg rolling down the path. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like Peanut Butter and Egg. Peanut butter and egg? That's funny. You're cracking me up, Egg laughed. And then he really did crack. Uh-oh. He made him laugh so hard he starts to crack. Peanut butter didn't want the egg to laugh anymore, so he kept walking. He found someone jumping. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly. And we'll go together like peanut butter and meatball. 32, 33, 34. Shh, I'm counting my jumps, said Meatball. 35, 36, 37. I'm trying to set a record. Peanut butter whispered back. But I have this ball, and 38, 39, 40. Shh said Meatball. Peanut Butter kept walking. Finding a friend was harder than he thought it was going to be. Take a look about uh, what Meatball is using to jump with. They go together well. Then Peanut Butter saw another someone sitting under a tree. And that was good because he was ready to sit down too. Even though he was getting tired, he gave it another try. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. 
maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly, and we'll go together like peanut butter and french fries. Not right now, said french fries. I just remembered I'm supposed to help Hamburger with his hot dogs, and I need to catch up. And look at what's sitting next to french fries. Catch up. Peanut Butter walked up to one more someone who was practicing his ABCs, but before he could open his mouth, Soup picked up a spoon, dipped it into himself, and then showed it to Peanut Butter. In the spoon were two letters, N and an O. Spelled no. But I didn't ask anything yet, said Peanut Butter. You didn't have to, said Soup. Oh, said Peanut Butter. Mm, how do you think Peanut Butter's feeling right about now? Think in your head. Maybe he's starting to feel a little sad or feeling like he wants to give up. Let's see what he does. Peanut Butter found a bench to sit on. He was almost ready to give up. But as he sat there, so very sad, a new kid walked up to him. Hello, she said. Peanut Butter took a deep breath. Goodness. Um, hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and jelly. Sure, I'll be your friend, said Jelly. But could you teach me how to keep that ball on, your head, on my head? I'm only good with my feet. Balancing it on his head. So they taught each other what they knew and made each other chuckle deep down in their bellies. It wasn't long before their laughing made the other kids come over. They asked if they could play too. Of course, Peanut Butter and Jelly were happy to let them join in. As his new friends knocked the ball around with their feet and their heads, and in one case, his buns, Peanut Butter chuckled deep down in his belly because they all went together like peanut butter and hamburger and cupcake and egg and meatball and french fries and soup and jelly. So they all became friends playing together. The end. There's peanut butter and jelly. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this story, and I'll be back in a few days to read you another story. Have fun. Bye-bye.